The Vampire Barnabas comes to the big screen this weekend. It's the opening of Dark Shadows. It's based on a popular soap opera back in the 60s, but a local man wasn't content just remembering his favorite show. He wanted to live it. Dave Crawley has his story. The Dark Shadows series sent shivers through soap fans of the 60s. One of those fans now lives in a North Hills mansion of his own imagination, replicating the television home of the vampire Barnabas. Dark Shadows was an amazing show because it told these alluring tales of gothic intrigue, and that's what really attracted me to the show. The shadowy owner dreamed of a home that would recreate those chilly memories of childhood. How do you create that? into reality and it, it took coming to Pittsburgh to make that possible to find the talent around the world that could actually look at a, a, a TV set and say yeah we can make that for you. This is a project that we started about seven years ago. Contractor Dion McMullen replicated a mansion in Newport, Rhode Island. A lot of the detail came from reviewing a lot of the pictures and film because the original house was used in a TV series uh, quite a few years ago. The new Dark Shadows movie is also reflected in this house. I painted the ceiling to be like the uh, uh, dining room in the Dark Shadows movie with the shading and the gilding. And then we did the black marble fireplace, Dave. Randy Cora created magic with his brush. This window was made to replicate an exterior window, even though it's interior. Carol Page helped design the lead glass windows. Well, there have been over 300 windows already completed, and there's still about 86 more to go. So I designed and built these arches, columns, and the balconies that you see behind me. What's it like to actually live here? What a life. What a fantasy. What a house. Dave Crawley, KDKA, TV News.